Hello. Hello, Lao Hello, 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 Lao Hello, everyone. It's time for class. Let's yes, start okay. class now. Um, as a first, uh, let's uh, review the content of uh, the previous lesson. Okay. Oh, okay. sure. Uh, in show the PPT for you. Uh, in the uh, last uh, last lesson, we learn the basic knowledge. Uh, of uh, of the uh, mental county. Uh, the there are three uh, important uh, cutting machines uh, we should learn. Uh, one is the uh, main machine. Uh, what is the main machine? Main machine is the uh, movement velocity uh, is the uh, highest. The velocity is the uh, highest. And uh, the consumed power is the last. Uh, at the uh, cutting processes, there are only one main machine um, in this uh, process. Uh, all of, all of uh, us should know the main machine have the velocity or speed the, is the highest. Okay. And the uh, other machine is the feed machine. Feed machine is uh, the movement of velocity or speed is smaller than the machine, uh, the main machine, and the consumed power is very small. Uh, so the, uh, the difference of the main machine and the feed machine is the uh, velocity. Do you understand this this knowledge? Okay. Yes, Lord. Okay, you, you you can understand this uh uh the difference of main machine and the feed machine, okay? And the re certain the cutting machine is the machine com composed by main machine and the feed machine. Uh, this is a, a different uh, uh, cutting machine. Uh, we can we can learn uh, the main machine and the feed machine uh, at the turning processes. Uh, you can know that uh, uh, the main machine is uh, a workpiece uh, due to the the velocity is the faster. And the feed machine is the tools. Uh, due to the speed or velocity is slow, slower than the main machine. Uh, anyone can tell me uh, what is the main machine and the uh, feed machine and why uh, in grinding processes? Anyone can tell me? What is the main machine and the feed machine in this process? So everyone uh, can tell me what is the main machine or feed machine? You can. Uh, this is the tools. This is the work piece. This is the work piece. Uh, the tools speed. You 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 can you can find the speed uh, of uh, what speed is faster in grinding processes. Uh, you can uh, we can know that uh, the the uh, tools speed is is faster than the workpiece. So uh, in grind grinding processes, okay? Can you understand these processes? Um, Lashi, can you come again? I, I, didn't, I didn't get some, some stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, in this process, the, the speed, 
the speed of tools is faster uh, than the workpiece. So the main machine is the tools, and the feed machine is the workpiece. Can you understand? Uh, can you understand this process? What is the main machine? And uh, what is the uh, uh, feed machine? Why? Why? The, okay. This process is most important uh, for this class. This is the uh, turning turning uh, processes. You uh, all of the knowledge is based on the turning processes in the uh, next uh, uh, study. Okay, you can understand. Uh, you must understand this process. This is the workpiece. This is the workpiece. Workpiece the the speed, the speed of this process, uh, the, the speed of the workpiece is more faster. Uh, we can we can see the uh, video to understand uh, for understand this this process. Okay. That rotates the workpiece about an axis of rotation. To perform various operations such as turn you can see that uh can, can you see the, uh, this video yes Lord, yeah, Lord, she will watch. okay uh we can see that uh, uh this is the work work can you see me uh this uh this uh this is the work piece this is the this is the tools uh we can see mm -hmm. that uh, Undercutting. We can see nerving. that uh, the work, the the work piece is cycling very at the at the high speed. Drilling in a lathe machine work. Dip, rough turning tool. Okay. So this is the uh, so this is the uh, main machine and this is the uh, feed machine. Are you understand? Yeah, let's see. Okay. Uh, this is applying in the work piece. The, the work piece is the main machine due to the work piece uh, movement speed is faster than the tools. So the uh, in applying processes, the work piece is a main machine and uh, uh and the tools is a feed machine okay uh you can uh all of you you can understand the other processes for example the milling the grinding boring um uh, forming curling milling gear uh you can you can um, find the main machine and the feed machine by the speed of the uh, tools and uh, the work and the uh, work piece. Okay. You you can uh, of you can uh, <coughs> and distinguish the main machine and the uh, uh, feed and the feed machine you can understand the uh, uh, one minute by yourself okay
Okay, can you understand uh, uh, this process? Yes, Lashi, yes, Lashi. Okay. Uh, the next uh, knowledge is uh, uh, cutting on web uh, variables. There are three important uh, pa uh, parameters we can know uh, during the uh, lace uh, process, uh, cutting, cutting machines. Uh, they are cutting speed, uh, fading, fading, fade rate. This this is a, a cutting speed by the by the workpiece and the fade fade rate f. Uh, this is the fade fade rate rate uh, from the twelfth movement and the depth of the uh, cut. This is the uh, depth of cut from on uh, this surface to this surface. This is an this surface to this surface is a uh, depth of uh, cut. Okay, uh, this is a very important uh, three parameters you can know uh, during the cutting in processes. Okay, then we. Oh, okay. Lastly, the fading rate is the speed at which the work piece is being cut. Uh, the the different the difference of uh, the uh this this uh, three parameters a uh, is uh, the cutting speed uh, is is the uh, work piece and uh, the the fade rate f uh is a uh, small relate relative movement uh per circle of the cutting tools and uh, and the depth of the cups is uh, an machine oh. surface to the machine surface yes, Lord, i think i got it i think i got it thank you Lord. okay and then we we studied uh, the geometry uh, geometry of the cutting tools uh they, they are Tools angle shapes of the tool surface and the form of the cutting edges. There are different uh, uh, cutting tools like uh, lace tool, milling cutter, gel, uh, rammers. Uh, we uh, this is a very important uh, knowledge we should know. Uh, this is a uh, uh, lace uh, lace tools. This is a lace tools. Uh, they are a very uh some different uh, definition we should know that uh, this is a a rig face rig face this is a rig face you can know that this is a rig face and uh, this is a this uh su surface is a leading in flank this is a leading flank uh you can know all uh, as this for a uh, figure that. Uh, uh this is a uh, uh, leading this is a uh, uh, leading frank this is uh, operate uh, the transition surface on the workpiece and uh, another important surface is this surface uh, this surface uh, is a uh, uh, chilling frank this surface this face is operate uh, in in this uh, picture is uh, the, the, this area uh, maybe uh, the surface is operate the machine the surface on the workpiece and uh, two important uh, uh, age uh, the, uh, one is this age this age is the leading cutting age the leading cutting age is the in in the section in the section of the uh, rank face uh, rank face to the leading flank this is uh, so this is the leading leading engine engine uh, cutting engine in this uh, picture oh uh, is it this this is the leading cutting edge okay 
and the trailing cutting edge. The trailing cutting edge is the uh, uh, intersection of the rake face, rake face to the trailing, the trailing flank. This is the uh, uh, trailing cutting edge. In this picture, is this is a, this edge, and the one important uh one important point is this point. This this is uh, no the two noise. This is the uh, uh, connect connecting part of leading cutting edge and the trailing cutting edge. Okay. All of you, all of you, uh, students must know. Oh, there, there are three important uh, phase and uh, two important age and uh, one one important uh, point. You can distinguish. You should. Uh, you must uh, uh, distinguish uh, this this phase and age. Okay. Uh, all of you. Can, yeah, so you, said, you said there are two phases, but I see only red phase. Which one is the other piece? Can you, can you write your uh, question on the uh, table? Okay. Uh, you if, said, if you have any question, you can. Okay, 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 no problem. Thanks. Uh, then uh, we study the the uh, some important uh, reference reference systems. Uh, they this is uh, uh they are three important uh plan, and the first is the, the reference plan PR. The uh. This 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 plan this plan is a uh, reference reference plan. Uh, this uh reference plan is per perpendicular perpendicular the directions of the main machine. Uh, you we can know that uh, the main machine of this uh process is uh, a workpiece. The <coughs> Uh, the reference plane is uh, perpendicular the uh, the directions of the main machine. So this is this balloon uh, plane is the uh, uh, reference plane, and the other important uh, plane is the cutting edge plane. The cutting the cutting edge plane is the plane which passes through the a designated point on the cutting edge and uh, is a uh, tang tangential to the cutting surface uh, uh, this uh, in, in this picture or in this picture or maybe uh, in this picture the uh, <coughs> cutting edge plane is is this is this is the cutting uh cutting edge plane. This is is tan 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 additional to the uh cutting surface and uh, is perpendicular the reference plane. So this 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 plane this blue plane is a uh, uh, cutting edge plane. This is part in particular, the re reference plane, okay. And the other plane is known the orthogonal plane. This plane is perpendicular to the projection of the cutting edge. And upon the reference plane, PR, uh, 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 this, this is the uh, orthogonal, orthogonal plane, PO. Uh, this is perpendicular, uh, perpendicular the P, P R and P S. Uh, so, uh, this is very important plane is, uh, very important uh, in also all 
orthogonal goal or plane. Okay, you can you should know the definition of this plane. Okay, uh, and uh, the reference systems with normal plane. Uh, the the normal play is also have three important play. Uh, they are are uh, two. Uh, they are two the uh, same plane with uh, uh, orthogonal plane. They are uh, this this is PR reference reference uh, plane and. Uh, uh, PS, uh, <clears throat> cutting edge play. This, this, this two plane is the same with the orthogonal uh, plane, and the uh, the difference plane is is the normal plane P N. This plane is this plane is uh, particular with the uh, cutting edge. Is this this P N? This this plane. Okay, this which is different uh, uh, with the PO. And the other reference system for uh, is anything to your angles. They are uh no no. Please, please, uh, one student uh, turn turn off your uh, sound. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, uh, long, long, the long long institutional and transverse assistance. Uh, this plane is a transverse section, and uh, this plane is a longitudinal section. Uh, this three plane is perpendicular with each other. You can know that. And uh, the other important uh, uh, knowledge is uh, two angles. Uh, maybe this 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 angle is, is difficult to understand. I I find uh, some uh, some other pictures for you for better understand. Uh, the both uh three uh three important. Uh, Angle is uh, in orth orthogonal plane in PO in this uh in this uh, plane uh, there are a uh, three important angle is rank rank angle and uh, clear uh, clearance angle and uh, wage angle. We can know that the brick angle brick angle uh. Oh, we can see this picture. Uh, this picture. Oh, the rick angle is, uh, the the angle between between the rick base and uh, the reference plane. Uh, this is a this is a, a reference plane, and uh, uh, this 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 is this. This surface is a uh, ring surface. Uh, in uh, we should know we should know that uh, this this picture is uh, in orthogonal plane PO. So uh, from this picture we can I uh, know that in
in of orthonegal uh, plane. So this angle, this angle is uh, a weak angle. And the clearance angle is the angle between the uh, uh, frank uh, and the cutting edge. Uh, this this is a uh, uh, cutting cutting uh, the the frank and uh, this piece uh, is a uh, cutting edge plane. So this angle is a uh, uh, clearance angle. And the other important angle is a uh, uh, weak angle uh, beta. Uh, th th this angle is between the frank and uh, the uh, rig rig face. Uh, this this is a frank and the this is a, a frank face. So this angle this angle is a, a wedge angle. Okay. Uh, we can see that uh, this this three angle have uh, have some and relationship you you can see that this angle is 19 degree can you can you see that this angle this three angle on plus is 19 degree this is a perpendicular of uh, this two surface okay <laughs> Okay, you can understand uh, this uh, knowledge by yourself. To understand this uh, important uh, angle. Okay. Uh, uh, this, is, this is the ruler of the uh, rake angle. Uh, we can see that we can see that uh, this picture of uh, the the rake angle. Oh, uh, we can we should we know that uh, this angle is a uh, uh, rake place, a uh, rake place, and the reference plane. This is a reference plane, and this is a uh, uh, rake face. Uh, in this picture, the uh, rank. The rank angle is negative. Oh, we can see that uh, this this angle is negative, and uh, and uh, this angle, the rank angle, rank angle is rank angle is positive. This angle, uh, due to this is this is uh, a reference plane, and this is this is a uh, uh, rank rank face. And in this picture, all the uh, rake angle is zero. Oh, we can see that this this is a chip's uh, movement. We can see that uh, different different uh, rake angle, the chips have different uh, movement. We can see that uh, from this. Uh, this picture we can see that uh, with the development of the rig angle, or uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, the the tools is uh, is more sharper, and uh, this is better for uh, cutting. We can see that uh, this uh, in this in this uh rank angle. It's better, it's better, it's sharper of the tools and the, the cutting speed can, and can be more quickly. And the, the strength is, is lower than the angle, the rake angle is zero and negative. And the, uh, they have less heat dissipation. Okay.
and the role of the clearance angle. Uh, this is a clearance angle. Uh, due to this, uh, this is a, a cutting. Uh, this this is a, a, the the flank the flank and this is a cutting cutting edge cutting edge plane. We can see that uh, this picture is uh, a clearance angle is uh, positive, and uh, uh, this uh, this picture the clearance angle is the zero, and this uh, the the clearance angle is uh, negative. We can see that uh, 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 the ruler of the clearance angle can reduce uh, can reduce the friction between the leading flank and uh, the machine the machine uh, surface uh, in this, in this uh, uh, when the clearance angle is negative the friction between the leading flank and the machine surface is increased and uh, in this in this clearance angle the friction is is smaller uh, than this process okay and the other and the other angles uh, measured in orthogonal plane this uh, resistance system is uh, we can see this picture uh, this angle is is cutting the cutting edge inc inclination angle or back or back rig angle. Uh, this angle we can see that uh, this angle is the angle between the cutting edge, the cutting edge, and uh, the ref. Uh, uh, this is uh, the cutting edge. This, 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 uh, this is cutting edge. Oh. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, Lao Xu, can you please mute him? Please, please, please turn off the sound. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, this this uh, this angle is cutting the cutting edge inclination angle or back rack angle. This angle this angle is uh, between the cutting edge and uh, the reference reference plane. Uh, this this picture is the cutting edge in inclination angle. In different, uh, in different uh, uh, angle. This is a ne negative, uh, negative, negative. We can see that uh, the uh, reference plane is uh, in on on is in the two hours. and uh, and uh, this this uh, cutting edge inclination angle is zero. And this the the cutting edge inclination angle is uh, positive. We can see that uh, uh, in different uh, cutting edge inclination angle, uh, it, um, this is a uh, uh, inference of the uh, edge inclination on chip discharge. 
uh, direction and uh, uh, some important uh, uh, angle measured in reference plane PR and the, the first is the the first is the uh, major cutting edge angle or uh, in this angle, the, uh, the angle is is between the uh, cutting cutting edge. This is the cutting edge on the and the fade direction. This 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 uh, this uh, this direction is uh, this uh, direction is the fade direction. We can see that the main cutting Age angle is the angle between the between the cutting edge and the reference plane uh, on the reference on the reference plane and the fade direction. This is the fade direction. This is the fade direction. Um, this is this is uh, this is uh, uh, cutting the uh, cutting edge cutting edge. So all oh, this this angle is uh, this angle is the uh, major cutting edge ang angle. Okay, and uh, other angle is the uh, minor cutting edge angle. Meaning cutting edge and uh, meaning cutting edge angle is uh, the angle between the trading cutting edge on the reference plane and the fade direction. We can see uh, that uh, uh, this angle, this is uh, this this is uh, trading cutting trading cutting edge, and this is uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, and this and this is a uh, uh, fade fade direction. So this angle is uh, uh, this angle this angle is a uh, uh, is a mean minor cutting edge angle. Okay, and the north angle. The north angle is the angle between the leading, leading, uh, and the trailing cutting edge on the reference plane. We can see that uh, this. Uh, I'm sorry. This 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 is the leading cutting edge. This this is the the trailing cutting edge. So this angle, this angle is a uh, uh, north angle in this picture uh, is this angle okay can you understand this uh, angle uh, yeah Lossi, can you can you please explain again this angle you want to uh, again yeah, let's see. Okay. Uh, they ask uh seven important uh, uh angle. Th this angle is designed in different uh uh play. Uh, they are. Uh, the the first is three three angle in orthogonal play, orthogonal play in this system. Uh, in is uh, in this. Uh, you, you can in this in this plane. There are uh, three important angle. Is rec angle, uh, clear, uh, clearance angle and the wedge angle. You can see this picture. In this picture, uh, <coughs> uh from, uh, you can. You can find this angle of 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 from this picture. 
Oh, this is uh, <coughs> this is a section view of of this from the orthogonal plane uh, reference system. Okay, the rake angle is the angle between the rake face, rake face, and the reference plane. Uh, this, this is a reference. This is a reference plane. This is a reference plane. And uh, in this picture, is this this plane. This plane is a, a reference plane. PR. Uh, and and the rig face. Rig face is this. Rig face is this. Uh, in this picture, show is uh, this. This is a. Uh, this uh, is uh, a rig face. From this picture, is this. This, this is a rig face. Okay. And the clearance angle is uh, the angle between the uh, flank and the cutting edge plane. This is this 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 is the cutting edge plane. In this, uh, the cutting edge plane is this. This is the uh, the cutting edge plane, and uh, this this uh, surface is uh, a frank surface. Okay, so all the uh, clearance angle is this, and uh, the wedge angle is between the frank and the rake face. So this angle, this angle, is the wedge wedge angle beta. Okay. Can you understand this? Uh, you must uh, uh, know all the uh, the important uh, uh, reference uh, in this picture. You should uh, uh, distinguish the reference system at the first. Uh, uh, of you must know the some imp uh, important uh, an important uh, uh, definition at the first and then and to understand uh, this angle maybe this is better for you maybe this is better for you understand this this angle okay and uh, and uh, other other one important uh, one important uh, edge is uh, the maybe is uh, this 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 angle cutting edge inclination angle. This is uh, in in this plane PS in this plane. Uh, in what what plane? Okay, uh, in this angle, this this angle is this angle is a uh, uh, cutting edge inclination angle, and uh, uh, another a uh, three important uh, angle in reference plane. In reference plane, there are a major major cutting edge angle, and uh, mean cutting edge angle and north angle. Uh, is this this is three different angle? This is three different angle. This is in reference plane. It's, this is the reference plane. At this, you can you can see uh, this from top to down. At this, uh, I show in this picture. Also, in show in this picture, you can see that. Uh, this. This is three angle, and uh, the medial cutting edge angle is an uh, uh, angle uh, between the fade fade direction. Fade direction is this fade direction to the uh, cutting edge cutting edge, and the the minor cutting edge is the angle between the Trailing cutting edge. This is trailing cutting edge. 
to and uh, the fading direction is this and another is the uh, north angle this is the leading this angle is between the leading and the trailing cutting edge is it this angle this angle in in leading and the trailing and the trailing cutting edge okay you you can also uh, see this picture so uh, the uh at in total there are three uh, and in total there are seven important uh angle in different uh, in different ref uh, reference systems okay and the uh, and uh, the measure of what uh, the medium cutting edge angle and the medium cutting edge angle uh, we can we can see this picture we can see this picture we can see this picture that uh, uh, with the development of the uh, meaning 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 cutting edge angle and uh, the uh, major cutting edge angle we can see that uh, this picture this picture to this picture we can see that the the median cutting edge angle is increase. We can see that. Um, what what is the result of the uh, increase of the median cutting edge angle? We can see that uh, with the tools move from one to to two uh, points. We can see that uh, uh, this. This is the uh, uh, re residual areas uh, lived on the workpiece. We can see that with the important uh, with the in increase of the with the increase of the uh, meaning cutting edge angle, uh, the residual areas is increased. We can see that. So uh, the result is that the surface roughness is also uh, increase. Can you understand this? Uh, due to the, the larger areas is increase with the in increase of the mean cutting edge angle. Okay. And this is, uh, uh, this is, uh, um, uh, major cutting edge angle is this this angle this is the uh, fading direction this this is a uh, this is a uh, uh, fading direction and this this is uh, this is uh, this is this angle is a major cutting edge angle with with the uh, increase of uh, with the increase of the we can see that with the increase of the uh, major cutting edge angle we can see that this is the fault this is the fault this is the total fault this uh, this is the total fault as the total fault is the same with the increase of increase of the major cutting edge angle we can see that the transverse Fourth is increase. We can see that with the increase of the major cutting edge angle, the the uh, transverse force is increased. Uh, this force, this force, this uh, transverse force is uh, uh, better for uh, cutting. So with with the increase of the major cutting edge angle, the cutting speed is increased. Uh, but uh, we can see that uh, the cutting depth is decreased at the same time. Okay. Uh, and uh, then we we should uh, and then we to study the 
this knowledge. Maybe this uh, is uh, maybe uh, we we have a break time. Okay. All right, Lucy. Okay, Lucy. Okay, Lucy.
Hello, hello everyone. Yeah, Lucy. The break time over. Let's uh, start uh, the class. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. next we will study the the two working angles. Uh, on the two working angles are the real cutting angles and the work working state. Uh, because uh, the because the sitting position and the feed movement of the cutting tool have an importance on the two angles. Working angles are not equal to the angles in dedicated on the two drawing. In order to enable two angle working angles to optimize the cutting processes. So it is very necessary to know the relationship be between the working angle and the de designated angles. First, we will study the inference of the uh, transverse uh, fading on working angles. Okay, uh, the, the, I show in this picture, I show in this picture, uh, we can see that uh, when the uh, cutting feed trans transverse transverse to the cut uh, work cut transverse cut the workpiece, the move the moving the moving blank we can see that the moving chunk of the designated point on the cutting edge related to the workpiece is an uh, like this is like this is a uh, Archimedes uh, special lamp. Therefore, the working the working real river uh reverence plane NPR uh PR uh is this is PR uh and PS uh this uh cost the uh, var variations of both rake and uh, the clearest angles. Uh, this these two angles have the difference with the designated angles. So the uh, working rake angle and the clearest angle can be calculated uh, as the following uh, reference systems. They have uh, the working reverence plane. PRE uh, and uh, this is PR is a designated uh, plane. This is a working plane. So uh, they have turned uh, angle. This angle mu. This angle. Uh, this is the difference. Uh, so uh, the working rank and the clearance angle can be calculated as uh, as the following in the reverence systems and so the the this this rec angle p uh, r o e is equal to the uh designed designed uh rec angle uh plus the this this angle this is the uh, working working rig angle so and uh, the and the uh, and uh, the clearest angle and the clearest angle or uh, this is the clearest angle or uh, is become to this it is equal to the uh, design the angle design the angle How uh, is the the this angle? This this angle. This is the uh, uh working working clearance angle, and uh, and this, uh how to how to calculate uh, this angle? This angle is I'm oh, sorry, and this angle is e equal to uh 
uh, arc, uh, arctangle uh, a, if, if we if a is a feed uh, to pi d d is d is the diameter of the workpiece at the cutting uh, cutting point. Uh, from this from this uh, equal from this equal uh, we can uh, we can see that uh, uh, we can see that uh, the the with the increase of uh, this angle. Uh, this angle is increased with the with the uh, feed feed speed increase and the decrease of the uh, diameter with the diameter with the cutting getting the cutting getting near the center the value of the value of mu could increase seriously and uh, the nearest angle and the clearest angle where where well could be become this is the clearest angle could become the negative. And the two is the influence of the longitudinal of feed on the work angles. Oh, uh, this is a uh, a uh, turning show in this picture. Uh, considering the uh, long longitudinal feed movement of the cutting tool, the move, the moving uh, triangle of the designated point on cutting edge related to the workpiece is the Archimedes spiral, Archimedes spiral line. Both the, uh, both the reference plane, PIE, and uh, uh, in, in this picture is uh, this, this, and the cutting edge play, um, P, A, S, E, could uh, title the angle mu A uh, related to the reference systems for designated two angles. The working, the working rank, the working rank angles increase. It says, uh, this, uh, this uh, will have a uh, uh, inter art degree increase. And the working clearance angle uh, will, will increase, uh, will decrease. Okay. And the third is the influence of the two thick heat on working angles. As this picture, we can see that with the two north above the center here or below. We can see that uh, this uh, is the center uh, with, uh, with the two noise above the center on or height or below the center, center center. Uh, it changes the uh, cutting speed direction resulting in the position changing the reference, uh, the reference plane PR and the the cutting edge plane will have a change. It's also uh, affect uh, the 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 work angle. Okay. Uh. Sure. Uh. Above all, we have learned the uh, angles of the of the meeting cutting processes. Uh, we we can show a video to to understand uh, the the angles and the reference plane. Okay. Let's talk about the OR system of tool designation. ORS means orthogonal rake system. Okay. This is a single point cutting tool. Uh, this is a CAD model. This is a rake face. This is the flank surface, the principal flank surface. This, this is a rake face. This is a flank face. And this is the auxiliary flank surface of this tool. 
and this edge over here this is called cutting edge <clears throat> this fillet is called nose radius okay in this system we have five planes instead of three like in AIC system and six angles this is a reference plane and you can see this plane is parallel to this surface and we have cutting plane if you observe clearly this plane contains the cutting edge and this plane is also perpendicular to this you can see that this is a cutting plane this plane is through the cutting edge as you can see here and there is a plane which is perpendicular to this cutting plane which is this this is called orthogonal plane this orthogonal plane is perpendicular to cutting plane and this orthogonal plane is also perpendicular to the reference plane look at this plane if you observe clearly as i said before this is the auxiliary cutting edge just like this cutting plane which has this cutting edge this auxiliary cutting plane has this auxiliary cutting edge passing through it and also this auxiliary cutting plane is perpendicular to this you can see this is a very important uh, sway sway plane uh, so the so the cutting edge and uh, and uh, the uh, trading cutting edge this, this two plane difference plane and similar to this orthogonal plane there is auxiliary orthogonal plane which is perpendicular to auxiliary cutting plane okay these are five planes one two three four and five right let's look at all the angles right i said six angles then is the, angle the first angle we are going to take a look at is orthogonal rake angle let's difference. look at the definition it is the angle of orientation of tool's rake surface from the reference plane and measured on the orthogonal plane let's see what that means here okay this is the orthogonal plane right if i cut the tool in such a way and you can see this edge the angle between this edge and the horizontal this angle is called orthogonal rake angle the second angle is inclination angle inclination angle is the angle of inclination of tool's principal cutting edge from the reference plane which means that the inclination of this cutting edge from this reference plane orthogonal clearance angle it is the angle of orientation of tool's principal flank surface from the cutting plane and it is measured on the orthogonal plane let's see what that means this is the cutting plane this is the orthogonal plane what that means is the angle between this principal flank surface and this cutting plane this angle is called orthogonal clearance angle and it is measured on this orthogonal plane one easy way to interpret this is cutting the tool like so and observing it here the angle between this edge and this plane if you can see this angle is called orthogonal clearance angle auxiliary orthogonal clearance angle it is the angle of orientation of tool's auxiliary flank surface from the auxiliary cutting plane and measured on auxiliary orthogonal plane let's see what that means this is the auxiliary orthogonal plane this is the auxiliary cutting plane this surface of the tool is called auxiliary flank surface if i cut this tool like this the angle between this edge and this plane this angle is called auxiliary orthogonal clearance angle there are two more angles remaining which are principal cutting edge angle and auxiliary cutting edge angle now this is a cutting plane and this is the auxiliary cutting plane right let me cut the tool like this so if i cut the tool like this and absorb it from the top this is like this assume the longitudinal feed direction is like this which means that the tool moves from here to here while operating 
the angle between the cutting plane and the longitudinal feed direction this angle is called principal cutting edge angle similarly the angle between auxiliary cutting plane and the assumed longitudinal direction this angle is called auxiliary cutting edge angle let's see the designation of each angle so here we can see lambda is used to represent inclination angle gamma o is used to represent orthogonal rake angle alpha o is used to represent orthogonal clearance angle alpha o dash is used to represent auxiliary orthogonal clearance angle phi is used to represent principal cutting edge angle and phi 1 is used to represent auxiliary cutting edge angle and r is no radius and here we can see there is mm in the bracket which means in our system you have to represent no radius in mm only but in ais system we represent no radius in inches okay uh, let, 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 this video is good for us to show different angles in different uh, reference plane uh, i hope everyone can understand this uh, angles and uh, it, it maybe uh, it is better for us to choose the uh, proper uh, tutor uh, tools in different uh, conditions. Okay, this is this this is all of the uh, uh, angles uh, we we have learned. Okay, the next uh, the next uh, uh, next we will study is that. Uh, the and and deformate and deformed chip dimensions okay uh in this in this section we sh we should know the definition of the and deformed chips the and deformed chips is a lay of the workpiece materials removed removed by the cutting edge in a single cutting section this is a, a this is to say that uh, the workpiece uh, materials removed removed the workpiece materials removed by the cutting cutting edge in a single cutting and action i show oh uh, in this picture well uh, i show you this picture we can see that uh, the undeformed chip is uh, the tools from one to remove the to two position. Uh, this air, this uh, uh, direction, is, this area is called the undeformed chip. The undeaf chips, uh, the shape and the dimension of the undeformed chips affect affect the load on the cutting tools. Uh, this 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 should uh, force uh, the shape and the dimension of uh, of the undeformed chip is affect the load on the cutting tools we should know uh, how to uh, calculate the undeformed chips we should uh, know for the sake of the calcu calculation the shape and the di dimensions of un undeformed chips are, ge are generally measured in reference in reference plane pr of the cutting tools, I show you in this picture. I show you in this picture. I show you in this picture. Uh, we can calculate the undeformed chip. Uh, undeformed chip uh, dimensions. Okay. Uh, this this is a feed feed di Fade direction. This is uh, a. This is uh, BD BD this this area, in this area. Oh, uh, BD is uh, the widest measured uh, parallel to the cutting surface. 
uh, parallel to the cutting surface is this BD. Uh, and uh, the uh, HD is this. This this is HD. This this is uh, this is measured perpendicular to the cutting surface. The cutting surface. This this is purple purple uh perpendicular. This is perpendicular to the this is this uh this uh the this is uh measure the deep deep perpendicular the cutting surface. So the uh and this air and this is AP AP we. We have learned, uh, uh, in <clears throat> in last class, this is AP. This is the depth, uh, depth of uh, the cutting. So the the cross section area of an undefined uh chip AD, the areas is. Uh, made uh, uh, AD. This is AD. Is this 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 area AD? Is this area? This area this real area is called the undefined chip, and chip. And uh, how to calculate it? Well, we can see that this is AD. Equal, uh, we can see that equal to uh, the H H D um multiply multiply the H B H uh A HDBD and also equal to to the AP multiply the uh, A. Oh, uh, this is a uh, this is a. Uh, uh, <coughs> It is a formula of uh, uh, to calculate uh, the uh, calculate uh, the area of the undefined chip. We should we should uh, we must know how to calculate the calculate the area of the undefined chip with this with this uh, formula. Okay. And then we we will study the cutting cutting tool materials. Uh, as we know, the performance of the performance of the cutting tools tool materials have an important influence on the productivity, tool life, and the machinery quality of workpiece. We should know the uh, performance is depend on depend depend on the materials, the magical shape and uh, the structure of the cutting tools to the large extent extents, and uh, therefore we should uh, we should pay attention to. To the selection and the application of cutting tool materials, we should know how to select the cutting tools materials. Uh, for cutting tool materials, uh, what what uh, properties should uh, uh, tool materials should have? Oh, uh, one. Yeah. One is one is 
the two materials should have the high hardness. Uh, this this uh due to the tools should cut the workpiece. If the tools don't have a, a high hardness, it can't uh, cut cutting other materials. Okay, and then uh, the tool materials should have high wear resistance. If if the tool materials don't have high wear resistance, uh, it can't cut other materials. And then, uh, the tool materials should have good serial conductivity and uh, uh, processing properties. This is due to the cutting. Uh, cutting processes uh, will have will have large uh, heat if the two materials don't have good thermal conductivity. It's uh, the temperature will become very high, and uh, and uh, the tools maybe will uh, fail out uh, quickly. And then the two materials should have a sufficient strength and the tools. It uh, maybe it's a good to understand. It's easy to understand. And then the two materials should have high heat resistance due to the uh, cutting processes will uh, will have a lot of heat. Uh, so the temperature will increase. Uh, if the two materials don't have high heat resistance, uh, it's uh, is easy to fail and uh, it will uh, uh, increase the cost of the uh, tools. Okay, so the cutting tool, tools materials should have all these, these properties. If we, if we want to choose a, a proper uh, tools, we should uh, consider these properties. The tools should have these properties, okay. And then um, we, we will uh, study some two materials. The, the first is uh, high speed uh, steel. Uh, the high speed steel is also called the HSS. This is a kind of uh, uh, alloy tools with uh, a tungsten molecule uh, and uh, uh, <coughs> CR, V, and other uh, alloy elements. Um, this is due to uh, uh, it has good bend, good bend strength, and its hardness and uh, normal temperature is 20 to uh, 60, 62 to 65 HRC. And uh, uh, HRC has a good uh, uh, high, high heat resistance. Uh, it can over the six, uh, 600 uh, degree. And also the H HSA steel is used is used to manufacturing complex tools in shape such as drills for cutters, brushes, gel cutting tools, and so on. Uh, according according to according to the uh chemical composition high speed steels are generally 
divided in into two types. One is the tensor type. It's also called the T series and the molar border uh, type. This is the M M series. Also, according to the cutting property, the H the high speed steels can be divided into a plain high speed steels and the high speed steels with high performance. This is uh, this is a two different uh, uh this is a two different this is a two different uh, uh high speed steel. One is a saw. This is made by the plane. Um, plane high speed steel, and uh, this is a gear. Uh, this is a gear. Uh, this is uh, made by high speed steel with uh, high performance. Uh, okay, uh, we we can learn this uh, the difference of this uh, two high speed steel. First is uh, uh, plain high speed steels. Uh, plain high speed steels have have good crossing prop uh, property and uh, are used for used for conventional machining of general engineering materials. And the other is the high speed steels with high performance. This is used for machining high temperature alloy, a titanium alloy and steel, uh, steelness steel and other hard to machine materials. Uh, we can see that the the plane, the plane high speed speed steels can use the to much uh to uh, cutting the general uh engineering materials and the cost is cheaper, and the high speed steel with high performance it can use the for uh, uh some serious uh a environment with the high temperature and the more hard, uh, more hard uh, this, uh, materials. But the, the cost is more expensive than the plain high speed steels. Uh, they have difference. Uh, we should, uh, as first, if we choose the uh, high speed steels, as first we should uh, know the properties of the workpiece and then to choose the uh, tools and then uh, and uh, other uh, cutting tools materials is uh, submitted um, carbides uh, uh, the <coughs> submitted carbides is the best thing to have happened for metal cutting is this is uh, this uh uh cemented carbides is invented uh by around uh about around the in nineteen twenty six in Germany. Uh, uh this is how to uh, produce the cemented carbides. This uh this is uh, produced by the cold compaction of metallic uh com combined like uh, tungsten uh WC uh, TIC TAC and uh, NBC in powder in metallic binding materials like uh, CO MO and uh, nickel. Uh, following by liquid 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 phase uh citrate. Cemented carbide is uh, one of the utmost tool materials. It is used uh, at uh, the lot of uh, areas.
the advantage of the uh, cemented carbides is the uh, the cutting speed is four to ten times than that of the high speed tier steel. So the pro properties of the cemented carbides is is excellent. This is some of the uh, cemented carbides tiers. We can know that this is this is a uh, general. This is a general uh, lace lace cutting tiers. And they, and uh, they, this uh, also is other kind of uh, tiers. Okay. Uh, an another tier materials including in creamiers, diamonds, and uh, cu uh, cubic bone and nitrate. We can and study this. At first is. At first is uh, uh, creamiers. Creamiers have very high hardness, and the hardness can and reach the HRA is nineteen one to nineteen five, and and it have a good uh, chemical stability and uh, anti and uh, heat uh, adhesiveness heat resistance and wear resistance and have less affinity to the workpiece. Uh, but uh, uh, the ceramics have its disadvantage. Uh, they are very uh, brittle and have poor bending strength and uh, impact toughness. And the other uh, Two materials is diamonds. Uh, diamonds. Diamonds are divided into natural and artificial diamonds. Uh, the diamond is the hardness, is the most hardness the materials up to now. The hardness can reach the 10,000 uh, HV. Uh, a diamond tool is qualified with machining, not only high hardness and uh, the wear resistance materials such as carbide alloy, ceramics, but, but also non-ferrous non materials. Another one is cubic ball nitrate. The hardness of the uh, cubic ball nitrate, uh, it, the hardness is also very high. It can reach the uh, six uh, six thousand to nine thousand. Uh, so uh, it has good wear resistance and the high thermal st uh, stability. It can withstand the cutting temperature. Oh, in the uh, range of uh, one thousand, one thousand three hundred to one hundred, one thousand of uh, uh, five hundred uh, degree, and uh, it has good uh, thermal conductivity and uh, low friction coefficient. Uh, this uh above all, this is the uh, cutting materials. We have study a uh, different uh, uh materials of of cutting materials. Uh, the first is uh, high speed steel, and uh, then is uh, cemented uh cemented uh car carbide and. Uh, and this is uh, other two materials, including the ceramic uh, diamonds and the cubic bone nitrate. Okay, uh, this is uh, all 
above all, this is uh, the basic knowledge of the uh, mating, uh, mental cutting. And the next section, we will study a, a some basic theorem of uh, mental cutting processes. This is uh, another part of this, uh, this capture. What uh, at first, at first, what is the mental cutting? The mental cutting is a process uh, is a process in which the cutting tools is used to is used to remove the uh, excess metal in the uh, form of chips from a rough or blank so as to gener generate a finished surface. In the in the mental cutting processes, a series of physical uh, phenomena such as build up age, cutting force, cutting heat, and the temperature, surface, uh, surface cut hardening, and the tool wear, and so on. In this, uh, in this part, we will uh, study all of uh, this uh, physical phenomena such as the build up age, a cutting cutting phase, cutting heat, temperature, surface, uh, hard uh, hardening, and the tool wear. Uh, in this part we will study a we will study this. Okay. And then the the study of this phenomena and uh, its uh, uh, varying rules have important uh, signi uh, significance to understand the technology, calculated uh, of mechanical processing methods, and to guarantee the machine quality, reduce the uh, production cost, and uh, improve the productivities. So we uh, through the study this phenomena, we we can understand the uh, cutting and uh, cutting in processes uh, uh, characters and uh, it uh, help us to understand the uh, process and uh, it's and uh, it's uh, better to improve the productivity and uh, the save the cost. And, okay, this is uh, this is a uh, uh, processes of uh, metal cutting in processes. Okay, we will study a it. At first, we we will study the uh. Deformation in the metal cutting process. Uh, at first, the the first is the formation of chip and the deformation ruler rulers. At first, what is what is the metal cutting? In we all have will have happened. Metal cutting is the processes du during which the workpiece cut cutting layer and the extrusion of the tool produce plastic deformation and the chips. And the whole of processes of chip uh, formation includes a pre Pressing, and sliding, cracks, and uh, excision four steps. Uh, the the cutting pro processes will uh, include uh, these four steps: precision, precision, sliding, crack, cracked, 
and uh, exciting. And the chip will generate rating processors in mental cutting processors is the deformation of processors of uh, uh, mental in cutting nails. Uh, in this picture, we can see that uh, the cutting, the mental cutting processors is like a, a, a com compress, compress process. Uh, it will give the workpiece, it will give a workpiece a, a force. We are give the workpiece a force, like it. So, all uh, the workpiece will have uh, some deformation. If the force have different uh, location, the the deformation of the workpiece will be different. Uh, so we should we will uh, study the difference of different areas of the deformation in mental cutting processors. Next, we will uh, study it. We will study it. Details. Okay. Uh, this this is a uh, uh this is a uh, uh, sh uh sharing uh, slide in the first reading of deformation. This is a, this this is a tool. This is a tool. Uh, this this is a workpiece. Uh, from the tools from uh well movement from one to two. So the work, the materials in the workpiece will have deformation. This is a, this, this uh, processors is a, a deformation of the uh, materials. When the uh, point P, when the point P, uh, is in the cutting layer pro processes gradually to cutting edge, cutting edge to reach the point one, uh, when to point one, the shelling stress re reaches to the uh, year, year stress. At the point one, at the point one, move forward and slide along the OA. OA is stimulated. Finally, it will all it will become to this point, uh, point two, because of uh, resultant movement. And uh, and uh, uh, this uh, distance from uh, two to uh, this this is the slipper edge, with the a uh, slide uh, going on. The shear stress will increase. Uh, in this uh, point, the shear stress will increase gradually until it uh, can up to the max maximal shear stress at uh and another to a point four. Okay, uh, the mental um, layer being cut is segregated from parent work materials and uh, uh, follows away along the uh, trials phase. Therefore, the line OM, this, this line is uh, termed as the final, uh, this, 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 this uh, line is the final line. line. Uh, the whole all processes of the chip uh, formation goes through four steps. Uh, this 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 uh, whole process include uh, this is four stage as uh, excluding, sliding, crackling, and uh, segregating. Okay, maybe it's time to break.
Okay, hello, let's uh, have a break. Okay, hello. In a break time, you can understand this this picture. Okay. Okay.
Hello, everyone. Hello, the break time is over. Hello, 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 First uh, re region of uh, deformation. Uh, in this in this proce process, it include uh, uh, four. It include uh, four uh, stage. Uh, that's the exluding, uh, sliding, cracking, and uh, uh, segregating will will happen in this uh, this direction. Then we will study the three deformation rules uh this this uh this room is the green green room this room this room is the green room uh, uh this area of uh, between uh oa oa uh and the om uh this area this area is called the first uh deformation room um, in this, uh, in in this in this uh, room, the primary shell deformation, and uh, this is also called the primary shell de deformation room, uh, showing that the materials will will have the plastic deformation. Uh, many experiments show that uh, with the increase of the cutting speed, uh, the the thickness of the undeformed chip in this this room uh, becomes thinner. In ordi ordinary cutting speed uh, range, the widest of the deformation and. Uh, the deformation room one in this one and is very small. Uh, therefore it can be represented the the ox, ox, uh, oxymatically by the shell plane. Oh, oh, this, this, maybe this uh this line. This line uh this line this line this line uh by the shading plan. Uh, and uh, they and this you can see that uh this room this uh, this uh, uh red room this this room is is when the default the fundamentals or called chips chips uh, uh follow over the two surface uh in this uh Maybe uh, you you sh you can you must know this air this area is a tears. This may the area is tears. Uh, uh, the uh, when the deformed metal follows over the tear surface, if the frictions between uh this is a uh tear surface and uh, the undesired of chips. Uh, this is more is a deformed deformed uh, materials is considerable. Then the chip gets uh, for further deformed, which is turned uh, this this area uh, turned as a secondary deform. Uh, the secondary deform is called the sec secondary shell deform room. Actually. Uh, it is a uh, inner inner friction deformation room on the true surface. The zero fra uh, friction in this region has direct uh, influence on the formation and uh, disappear of the cutting forces, uh, cutting heat, build up edge and the true. To your well, and the third room is, uh, this room, this 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 room, this 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 uh, this room, uh, 
uh, this rule is called the third the third de deformation rule. Uh, is called exclusion and the friction rule on the finished uh, surface. The two uh, have uh, the materials is removed by tools. So, uh, uh, rule three has a significant sense in impact uh as this this rule is is a machined uh, surface withstand withstand the exclusion and the friction from the down around the cutting edge and the flank it could uh, produce not only a plastic deformation but a elastic deformation causing the machined surface Neighboring and uh, hardening. So, rule three have a significant impact on the equality of machined surface and the wear of the two frank. Uh, so, in the uh, cutting processes, there are many, uh, include three, three important default deformation rule of the deformation rule one this is one this is the deformation rule two and this is a uh, deformation three okay uh, this uh, three rule is the default rule and the materials properties uh, is, uh, is different Okay. Uh, and then uh, we will study the different uh, chips, uh, chip or type. Uh, based on the properties of materials to be cut, to be, to be cut, and the cutting conditions. Usually, usually, they are uh, different types of chips. We will we will uh, study the uh, chip chip types. Uh, uh, now, the first type is uh, a ribbon type. The ribbon type, oh, uh, we can we can I see this picture and this picture. Uh, the uh, the chip like a ribbon. Uh, the ribbon. Uh, chip appears appears to smooth and continuous. We can see that uh, we can see that uh, the chip is continue and it's smooth. Uh, we can also see this picture. It is very long and is this is smooth and conditionally. Uh, they are they uh, what condition can uh, happen the ribbon chips. The ribbon chips uh, are often found, uh, found easily when the plastic material metals, such as carbon steel, alloy steel, copper alloy, and aluminium alloy, and so on, are cutting with smaller cutting thickness at the high cutting speed by means of the Cutter with larger rake angle. Uh, so, uh, we should know the ribbon, the ribbon chip is usually happened the plas plastic metals. The plastic metals will easy to happen the ribbon chips. The, sec the second type is a, a crux chip. Uh, I show all these pictures. Uh, the correct chips uh, has clear, clearly defined uh, stair like stair like size and smooth and 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 the surface like this. Uh, it, it's called the correct chips. The correct chips is easy. A found from the when the plastic plastic metals are cut and the cutting condition 
with a low lower cutting speed, large larger and for and default chip thickness and a smaller rank angle. Oh, this is uh, the difference from ribbon chips. The ribbon chips is also uh, is often happened in the uh, plastic plastic metals. Uh, the difference of these two types of chips is the uh, uh, crack chips is often happened uh, with a uh, with a low with a low cutting speed with a low cutting speed the cutting speed is low the cutting speed low cutting speed cutting speed and uh, and uh, the uh, river river chip is uh, is often happened with a high with a, with a higher cutting with a high speed with a high cutting speed. This is the difference of, uh, of these two type of rib, ribbon chip. They are all uh, two, uh, both of them are often happened in in plastic metals. But uh, the uh, reason why can uh, happen the ribbon chip and the crack crack chips is due to the cutting speed is different. Uh, we sh uh, should understand this, okay. And uh, the uh, third uh, type of chips is unit chip. Uh, unit chip is as the shear stress is the shear play is more than the auto automate strength of the materials to be cut. The chips are generated in the form of single uh, single metals or namely unit chips. Uh, we can see that uh, this picture, the uh, the chips like uh, unit unit uh, unit uh, is not continue. It's not continue. Okay, it's. Uh, is found easily when the metal when the metal with uh, with a poor or uh, plastic or uh, uh, plas uh, plastically are uh, cut and uh, the cutting condition with a low with a low cutting speed larger and deformed chief thickness and sm smaller uh, rank angles uh, this is different. This, this unit chips is uh, different from um forward or to uh forward the ribbon chip and the uh correct chips. The unit chip uh often happened with the materials with uh, with uh, low uh, plastic and the last one the the Splittering chip. Uh, this is often happened when in cutting the harder and more brittle the materials. Uh, the large, the larger the undeformed chips thickness and uh, easy the splitting uh, chips are produced. Uh, when the when the brittle materials such as the cast cast iron brass couples are cut, uh, the materials directly uh, head of the tool is compressed and not and not and uh, go plastic deformation, but but breaks into irregular pieces. Uh, 
I show in this uh, I show in this picture and this picture uh, they are a lot uh, when when cutting the uh, brittle materials the the chips is the chip is open and has a splintering chips. Uh, this this chips often happened uh, in cutting the uh brittle materials. We should know. Okay, another no uh is the build up age. Uh, what is the build up? What is the build up age? The definition of the build up age uh, is when the when metals are cut at a middle cutting speed. It usually bring about a phenomenon that the piece of metal adheres uh, firmly to the tool surface and and can cut the workpiece instead of the cutting edge. Uh, in this picture, we can see that uh, this area is the uh, build up edge. Uh, this is often happened uh, in the cutting speed is middle cutting in speed. And uh, and uh, the uh, some some uh, materials uh, the the here the uh, tool surface this uh, uh this this is uh, this is the tools and this 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 area is uh, chips and uh, this this uh, this uh, uh, is a BOT is a build up edge it's often uh, happened uh, at the middle mi middle cutting speed. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, if uh, uh, this area is this this uh, material is often uh, adhere the the, the uh, cutting tools, it will affect the cutting processes. So we should understand uh, why the the build up age will uh will happen and how to reduce the build up age okay oh uh, method uh methods to restrain the formation of build up age the first uh, method, uh, the first method uh, to uh, reduce uh, the build up edge is to avoid using the speed as which build up edge is easily formed. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, in this in in this uh, speed uh, rule. We are we are easy to uh, build up the the happen the build up edge. So, uh, if we want to uh, avoid the build up edge, we should avoid use uh, this speed uh, rule. And then, uh, in order. In order to reduce the uh, build up edge, we should uh, reduce the plastic uh, plus, uh, plus, of materials uh, to, to be cut. So uh, it's very important to uh, control the plastic, uh, the materials uh, plasticities. And then, uh, the select proper cutting in foliar is also the method to withdraw the formula of formation of build up edge. 
and the four uh four methods to restrain the formation of build up edge is to increase the rank angle of cutting tools and uh, to improve the sharp uh improve the sharpening quality of cutting tools uh, all of this is the method to restrain the formation of a build up edge. Uh, the first one is to avoid uh, using a speed at the build up edge is easily found. We should uh, choose the properly um, uh, speed and then is, uh, choose the proper materials with uh, the with uh, the low plasticity and uh, and the third method is select uh, properly cutting fluid is also better it is also uh, useful to uh, restrain the formation of a build up edge and then and the last is increase the the rake angle of cutting tools and improve the sharpening and quality of cutting tools. Okay, this uh, this is the uh, uh, build up edge. It will affect uh, the cutting processes and uh, uh, decrease the effective of the cutting processes and increase the cost. So we should use uh, this method to uh, restrain the formation of build up edge. Okay. And then we will study the cutting force and the cutting heat. Uh, in, the, in the cutting processes, the cutting force, the cutting force have direct inflict influence on the generation of cutting heat and further on the tool wheel, tool knife and machine surface quality. So uh, in production, the cutting force is the important basis for the calculation of the cutting power and the design and the application of machine tools. Cutting cutting tools and uh, fix and uh, the fixture. At the first, uh, we will study the source, the source of the cutting force. Uh, the latent uh, force as well as the component of the cutting force. At the first, we will uh, study the uh, source of the cutting force. The cutting force comes from two aspects. One is the resistance of materials uh, to plastic and uh, plastic deform. And the other is the frictional resistance exerted by the chip and the work and the work a uh, workpiece upon the two point. Uh, we can see with this picture, the cutting force comes from um, the the first is the resistance of the materials uh, from the uh, this this force and uh, and this uh this force this force from the materials. This was and uh, uh, this was. This was is also from the materials, and the uh, other is a uh, frictional resistance of uh, uh, this this was uh, from the uh, frictional resistance and. Uh, from the chips and the workpiece. This part, this part. Okay, 
This is the source of the uh, cutting cutting plane. They they are they are uh, two important uh, faults. One is a uh, uh, primary cutting fault. Uh, if C, uh, you can see that uh, if C this this fault this fault this, uh, this fault is a component of the resultant fault along the direction of the cutting cutting speed uh with the cutting speed this 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 uh force is uh, related to the uh related to the uh related uh rotation the by the uh workpiece so the fc primary cutting force it is also called the tang 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 tangential cutting force. The force is here, and uh, another force is the uh, back force. Fp this, this force this force. Fp sorry. Um, Uh, FP. This force, this force is a component, uh, the, the component of the resultant force. If uh, perpendicular to the, uh, this force is perpendicular the feed direction in the two reference plane. Uh, it is also called the radial cutting force. Uh, this force is uh, is uh, perpendicular to the uh, phase direction. Okay, uh, we can see that the the uh, primary primary cutting and cutting force is a uh, uh, principle basis used to calculate the power. E uh, e equal in the design of the machine tools and uh, to check the strength and the stiffness of the machine parts. So the primary primary cutting forces is most important. Uh, we should know uh, this is the principal basis used to calculate the power of the um, the cutting processes. It is uh, it is uh, along the direction of the cutting speed. The cutting speed is this. So the the primary cutting force is uh, below, and another force is the back is the back uh back force. A uh, back force is easily it causes the. the deformation of the workpiece and bring about the uh, vibration of the workpiece. Furthermore, it will also affect the machining occurrence and the surface roughness. And the another, uh, and the another force is the feed force. Feed force uh, is a component of a resultant force. If a parallel, this force is parallel to the feed direction. This is a, this is a feed feed direction. The feed force is parallel to the feed direction in the two reference plane. It is also called the x. Uh, axial force. It may be used to check the strength and the stiffness of the feeding um, feeding mechanism. So, uh, we should uh, 
distinguishes this different uh, uh, thoughts. Uh, the the primary the primary cutting force the the cutting the back force the back force the back force and uh, and uh, the this uh, is the feed force uh, the relationship of the a resultant force and the component of the cutting process uh, have some have some unrelationship. We can see the the cutting in total the total cutting force is the force of uh, is the total of this three force like uh, the formula is this. Is uh, uh, this is a primary cutting force, uh, and uh, and the back back force. And the feed and the feed force. We we can also all. Uh, Calculate the total force of the cutting processes in this in in this picture. This is the total force of the uh, cutting process. Generally, it, generally the uh, primary primary cutting force have most important uh, for the total total cutting force. And the next is uh, uh, back, the next is the back force, uh, and the last is uh, uh, feed force. We should uh, we should know we should uh, remember that the uh, primary primary force have most important uh, primary cutting force have most important for the uh cutting force and, uh, and the primary cutting force is related to the uh, cutting speed this is the cutting this is uh, related to the speed of the cutting speed okay And that is the cutting power. The cutting power uh, is the sum of the components of resultant force power. Therefore, the cutting power can be calculated with this formula. Uh, it is related to the uh, primary, uh, the main cutting primary cutting force and uh, the cutting speed the cutting power is really uh, is most related to these these two parameters uh, so this formula we can calculate the cutting power the same is a specific cutting force Specific cutting force, Kc, means the main means the main um, cutting cutting force in a certain removal unit area. It is calculated as uh, uh, following following equality. We can see that uh, this, uh, the specific cutting force is equal to, to the uh, FC is a primary cutting uh, force. 
divide the AD. AD, we have learned uh, uh, this uh, from a last uh, lesson. AD is a nominal across sectional area of cutting layer. It can be calculated as this uh, equal, equal, uh, formula. So the main so the main cutting force FC can be calculated by the following e equation F uh, FC A equal to KC specific cutting force uh, uh, multiply the uh, AD uh, so the FC can be calculated, also can be calculated by this APF and uh, uh, KC. Okay, wait. This is the uh, this is the how to calculate the specific cutting cutting force. Oh, and then we will learn the factors of influence on cutting force. There are many factors which have import, uh, uh, in influence on cutting force, uh, such as work, work, workpiece materials, workpiece, workpiece materials is the effect of the uh, work materials on the cutting force depends upon depends on the uh, shear strength of the materials the degree of plastic deformation and uh, the friction between the work and the cutting to us. Actually, uh, in generally, the harder and the stronger of the materials, the high of the shear strength, and the large of the, the cutting, cutting forces. Um, Compared, compared with the steel um, 45, uh, the FC increased by a 4% uh, percentage when cutting steel of 60, and the decrease by a 70% when cutting steel of steel 55. And also the high the plus plus the high the plus plus and the toughness of the materials. The high the large of the cutting deformation and the large the cutting force. Uh, Another uh, effect uh, is uh, influence the cutting force is uh, uh, cutting variables on cutting processes. The first is the first is the effect of uh, feed and the depth of the cut. The influence of the depth of the cut on cutting force is larger than that of the field. Experiments show that the influence index of AP on FC is 1 and that of F on FC is 0 0.55. It means that uh, the the 
the depth of cut uh, on the cutting force is larger than uh, the thread. And, and uh, another variable is the cutting speed. When the cutting speed uh, within the range of the low cutting speed, for example, at the 5 to 20 meter per meter, the height of the BOT increases gradually. The cutting force FC decreases. When FC continues to increase within the range of 20 to 50 uh, 35 uh, meter per millimeter, BOT disappeared. Uh, at this, at this, at uh, sorry, at this uh, uh, speed area, the BOT uh, dis uh, disappeared gradually, and the cutting and the cutting force FC increase. But uh, the when the FC is over the fifty five meter per meter as the cutting temperature grows up and the and the uh, fractional coefficient also have 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 some difference for the uh, cutting force. And the third is a uh, effect of ge geometrical parameters of cutting tools on cutting force. So the first is the uh, effect of the uh, rank angle. Rank angle is uh, uh, very important uh, for the uh, inference of the cutting cutting force. The rank angle has a great great influence on on cutting force. As as the rank angle is increased, as the rank angle increased, uh, the cutting force, uh, the cutting force will decrease, and uh, uh, this is due to the decrease of the cutting deformation. The variation of rank angle or has a large influence on on FA and uh, the mo and the mostly influence on the FC. And then is the cutting edge angle. Uh, the cutting edge angle have also important uh, influence uh, on on the influence of a cutting force. The variation of cutting edge edge uh, angle could uh, lead to the change of cross section area of an deformed chip. Uh, AD. It will change the uh, undefined chip AD and the component of the four and the cutting force FP and FA. Uh, from this uh, figure, we can know that the cutting edge, the cutting, the the cutting edge angle. Uh, have a uh, uh, influence to the uh, influence the cutting force. From this figure, we can see that with the increase, with the increase of uh, the cutting edge angle, with the cutting edge angle, 
or within the uh, 50, uh, 30, uh, 30 degree to say six, uh, 60 degree as the undefined chip uh, thickness HD, I will, will, in, will increase. At, at this uh, will increase and uh, the cutting deform deformation, the cutting deformation will, uh, will de and the cutting degrees will decrease. The primary, the primary uh, cutting force will, FC will decrease. When the, when the cutting edge degree increase, uh, from six, 60 to 90, and the influence of the round noise on the cutting noise increase gradually. Uh, this, this increase the uh, chip throughout friction and make the uh, chip follow more difficult. Uh, thus, it causes the cutting force Thus, this causes the cutting force increase uh, increase gradually. So this is uh, uh, some factors uh, of influence of the cutting force. Uh, the first is uh, uh, work workpiece materials, and uh, and uh, then is the the cutting variables and uh, it includes the uh, feed and the depth of the cut and the third is the ge ge um, geometry parameters uh, it, it mainly includes the geometry the rig, rig angles and uh, the the cutting edge angle. Oh, this 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 uh, factors will influence the cutting force. Okay. Uh, in total, uh, in this class, in this class, uh, we study the uh, some basic knowledges of the mental uh, cutting, mental cutting, and uh, and uh, uh, it, it mainly include uh, uh, sun, it mainly include sun and surface and angles. Uh, we should uh, know the uh, towards, towards, uh, uh, surface uh, plane and uh, the plane and uh, the and the angles. And then uh, we study the uh, some we studied some basic theories of the mental cutting processes. Uh, this uh, this is all of uh, uh, content of this class. Uh, I hope everyone can can start a uh, study and review this. Uh, uh, this uh, lessons uh, uh, knowledge and uh, next next uh, uh, the lesson we will continue study the uh, basic zero of the mental cutting in processors uh, thanks all uh, this uh, oh okay. thanks yes large go on go on please Uh, we can we can uh, get uh, out of class. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Okay, love you. Thank you, okay, love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice have a nice weekend. See you next week. Okay, thank you. Okay, love you. See you, love you.